Welcome to Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios, Scenario 8. Copy multiple files from HTTP server to data lake gen to storage. So, see here, I have multiple websites and uh, from that website, I have different files. So, from here to here, it is called base URL. And the remaining is called relate you url so what happened i have different files here different websites from the first one is vaccine tracker the second was national case and deaths and uh, hospital admission rates hospital admission rates one more file and a testing file so i have multiple files here i need to copy all the files at a time from my HTTP server to Azure Data Lake. So as we know that it's a little like uh, it is a time consuming. There's a reason what I'm doing is I'm writing all these websites into a file and uh, I'm reading from there. See, I'm, I will show you how to. So this is my JSON file. So what happened in JSON file? So I've written here the source URL and I written a relate URL and a file name. The same way for the second website or second uh, uh, HTTP server file uh, source URL, base URL and a file name. So the same thing I have written into my a JSON file. So what I'm going to do is now next I'm going to so the same thing what i'm doing is i have multiple files here one two three and four five in like that so i'm writing all this data into a file into a file so the file is dot json so what i'm doing is i'm loading that file this file into azure data block storage from the azure block storage i will read into the azure data lake so there are the three types totally three times we are doing first we are writing all the files into a json file and the json file we are loading into the azure block storage from the azure block storage we are reading into sorry we are writing into azure data lake gen to storage by using azure data factory so already you know how to do all the all those things and uh, now we'll go for the next so what are the things we are going to do is first we'll go and read the lookup so the lookup is used to read the file so which file i am going to read here i am going to read that file which is written json file from the json file in json file totally i have four files so what happened so i am writing this four file to do for each so what happened the for each will go and read each each file and then from file to for each two we are going to write to copy data activity so let's move on to our portal and see the scenario and what are the prerequisites sorry so first you need to create a block storage and you should create a adls adls gen to storage means azure data lake gen to storage and you should have a data factory and you should create three linked services one is for block storage one is for data lake gen to storage one is for http server so these three things you should finish so let me show you so this is my storage account so i have created two files so two of uh, storage accounts one is block storage one is adls storage accounts and i have my data factory so this is my data factory so I just am opening here. So this is my data factory and I have created the three linked services. See the first one is block storage. The second one is ADLS gen to storage and the third one is HTTP server. So now let me move on to here total. We, we need to create three data sets as I'm showing before. Because we are reading from here to here, one data set from here to, so this is my initial source. So like the file, so we need to create one data set for file purpose and we need to create one more data set and totally uh, we need to create total three data sets. 
the first data set. Let me take the filings. So first my data set. So this is my file first data set. So my first data set is blob storage. Because we are reading a file. That's the reason my first data store is blob storage. And uh, we know that in blob storage uh, my file is JSON file. So I'm creating a continue. And uh, the name of the data set is this is my data set. I'm reading this file. And uh, we need to go and read the file. So the file is not available. Let's me go back to my Azure portal and upload the file. So upload and uh, let me check where is my file. So this is my file ECDC file list in this only i have copied all the details of and then next click on upload so i have uploaded the file now let me go back to my server and uh, just refresh it refresh it then input this is my file click on ok then you have to click on ok so I have completed first data set now I need to create two more data sets. So one is HTTP because what are the files we are saving in the file? What are the data we are saving that we are copying from HTTP? So that's the reason we require HTTP data set. So in HTTP our data is delimited comma separated. So we need to give the data set name. So my data set name is I am giving here. This is my data set. And linked services HTTP and first row as a header, first row as a header, and import schema is none. In this, we require total. So there are two to three parameters we have to finish. One is like a base source base URL. Next one is relative base URL. So the source base URL. So we need to go to parameters. And need to create two parameters one is for source one is for relative so my name is source base url the first one and the second one is relative url so these are the two things you require so go to connection click on and add dynamic content click on source base url click ok next under the relative the same thing relative url click ok so we are finished next we need to create one more data set and the data set is gen2 storage so click on gen2 and delimited comma separated file and we need to give the data set name so this is my data set name so what are the data set you required you can give it that is not a problem and let me choose my linked service i know there's a header and a file name output ecdc so all the, see my the data should be copied here under the adls output ecdc folder the file should be copied here and click on ok now we require the file name so we require total four file four or five how many file names are there we require to write each file here that's the reason we need again a parameter so here the file name is giving as sync file name so i am giving the file names what are the things i written in my uh, json file see the first one is source base url source related url sync file name so how i am writing here the same thing i'm using here and we need to parameter i so we are completed with data sets now next move on to our pipeline we need to give a good valid pipeline so i am giving here the pipeline is uh, pipeline injured ecdc data you can give whatever the name you will feel comfortable 
Now first let me go and find out the lookup activity. So here this lookup activity, I am giving the name for lookup activity. Lookup each ECDC file list. Under the setting, so we need to find out the data set. This is my first data set. So all the files are written in DS ECDC file list. So I am writing, I am just selecting it. Next one is we required for each record because how many records there it will read all the records so i am keeping here giving the mapping because for each is depending on lookup and let me give the file name this is my file name of for each record and we required see here let me open see these are the values source base url and i am giving this is value this is a value and this is a value this is also a values for these things okay like a base url relate url sync file your file name so these are for those those are the values okay now we need to uh, out look up out will outreach see look is look up ecdc file list outreach output dot and we should give value because output dot value so each value it will read now what happened we required a copy activity copy copy activity and a copy the name of the copy is ecdc data copy ecdc data at the sync we need to choose our sync HTTPS ds data set ecdc covid raw http this is my source data set and we required here first we required here source base url so i am adding dynamically and we are getting for each iterator dot first one is relate not relate to so it's a source you base url so this is my base url next one is relate url so i need to map dynamically and we are getting from where each record for each iterate next we are saying that relate you the source relate you url so finish so i have finished my source next sync under the sync this is my sync so ds ecdc covid raw csv dl so in that we require the final name so i'm giving again we are getting the file name for each iterator for each iterator dot file name dot sync file name so have completed all the things mapping so let me go to my pipeline and just validate once so pipeline has been validated now we are going for debugging so the debug has started so we need to wait for until it was success sorry what happened here for each activity field reason cannot be valid because the property value doesn't exist in the available properties as first row. okay sorry so let me change one thing because error so first row only so i want so i'm not going i'm not going to read only first row i'm going to read all the rows that's the reason under the lookup and just under the lookup i am just un, un, unselecting it now again debug and uh, validate and now debugging Uh, what happened here lookup file lookup is already succeeded so now the following things are happening so in my file there are four files is the reason one two three four copy activities are there now see everything is copied now if you want you can change http server to one file is read and one file is written now we'll, let me go to my 
Azure portal and let me check in storage accounts and ADLS storage account, Gen2 storage account that means and under the output ADSC and see the files has been copied. So in this way we can copy all the files. So means in this way what are the files we have different folders or different sources in a day time. Thank you.